I mean, the bullets are real, but where in the hell is it coming from? Where are they? Hearing them whiz by your head, it hissing a pop, and it's coming at you from all directions. It's just like fighting ghosts. A second day dawns, and already the nature of the battle has evolved. As Marines and soldiers from RCT-1 move south toward Jolan Park, the fight changes from a direct frontal assault to a chaotic kinetic battlefield, where Marines could find themselves surrounded at any time. If you could see each other, clearly you just, you'd kill each other. But even in a high-intensity parapet, it's a game of cat and mouse. We have all these structures, we have all these buildings, we have rooms inside the structures. It's a three-dimensional battlefield. You know, we, we like to think that the enemy's not behind us. And in the narrow maze-like streets of Fallujah, tanks and armor become vulnerable to ambush. This is their turf. They knew which ways we had to go. They were funneling us in certain directions. Insurgents can wait inside for the tanks to get close and then attack by surprise. There's only one option now which is to send in Marines to clear that house out room by room and fight it out room by room, which is exactly what the insurgents wanted. The deadliest thing they did in houses that I encountered was the tunnels from one house to another, because we would attack a house, think we had them pinned down, and they would escape and we'd get in there and they'd be gone. Within these deadly buildings, full of death traps, an even darker discovery was made. We open the door, it's damp, and there's jerry-rigged cages, uh, hooks from the ceilings, Al-Qaeda flags kind of in the corner. This looks like one of the setups we've seen in these beheading videos. They don't just say, oh, okay, shoot him in the head, that's it. No, they want to torture you. They want to make your family suffer. They want to beat you. They, they will do so many things before they finish your life. It's probably the closest thing to hell that you will ever see. 